Welcome back, pop stars. I'm Rizzo. I'm Benji. And brains! <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Oh, but I love you, Mr. Benji! Oh, but I love you! This is Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. If you couldn't tell, neither of us have seen this, right? I have not seen this. Three, Three two, two, one! one. Engage! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> this isn't vampires, Josiah. I'm excited about this. Yeah. I think this is going to be really cool to watch Cinderella kick some ass. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a zombie in possession of brains must be in want of more brains. <laughs> truth universally acknowledged. Hi. Who goes there? Darcy. Mr. Oh. Darcy. I honestly was shocked at how many of you guys requested this because I always thought it was some type of like gag <laughs> no zombie bite marks on this pristine young body did he say no oh, this bites, bites on a pristine young body yikes well they gotta check yeah but don't call him a pristine young body if it's got no bites on it then it's pristine <gasps> ew young. no I just no just, uh, gross but the wound on my rib was from fencing been at this a long time i have no wound I think he was asking him about a fake wound that wasn't there because he wasn't actually looking at his body. Well, he was looking at his body, but he wasn't looking. He wasn't looking at critically. the places that didn't matter to him. There's been a report that somebody here has been bitten. A newly infected zombie is almost impossible to detect until they've ingested their first human brains, at which point transformation accelerates with every subscript kill. We are all well oh. aware of how it works, hmm. Colonel Darcy. I wasn't. That's some good lore to know. Thanks, stars. Carrion flies. They're in the possession of but one truly enviable talent. They, they can, can sniff tell. out zombies. They can tell when someone's dead. The ability to detect dead flesh. Well, it's not the buzzing that should concern you, madam. Rather, when the buzzing stops. I like how they're all just chill. Well, they don't believe it. Oh, dear. <laughs> Ew, no. <laughs> That's... <laughs> <laughs> Deals with it quick. Is there anyone else present whom he would have had the opportunity to infect? A family member, perhaps? Annabelle? Oh, no. Where are you? <laughs> yeah, your dad's dead, by the way. Annabelle? Oh. She have brains already. Oh, oh, that's gnarly. I don't... Shut the door. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, they can't really see. It wasn't always like this, my dear daughters. Oh, this is actually gnarly. From the colonies there came not just silks and spices, but a virulent and abominable plague. Once bitten, the newly infected were filled with an I love this intro. hunger mm -hmm. for the brains of the living. Oh my gosh, this is fun. And even the four horsemen of the apocalypse are said to have ascended from hell. Oh, Charles Dance is in this. He was the king on Game of Thrones. Oh, and Lena Hed Headley is in this as well. Tywin. Sounds like Tywin. <laughs> for the ultimate battle between the living and the undead has yet to be staged. That is how you do an intro <laughs> info dump. That was great. Dad. Even if I didn't fully get everything, I will upon reviewing, and I will want to rewatch that. Long story short, all the people are living in a walled off, moated off yes. section of this city. Are these the Bennets? I guess so. Mr. Bennett, have you heard <laughs> that Netherfield Park is occupied again by a Mr. Bingley? <laughs> a man of love? Not this about to be the same movie. <laughs> I cannot deal with this. <laughs> I've watched this movie so many times now. He is attending the village dance tonight. How does this concern our warrior daughters? You, sir, have already put them at a social disadvantage by insisting they do their combat training in China as opposed to Japan. Cool. I, for one, would trade nothing for my Shaolin training. <laughs> you mustn't speak Shaolin training, okay. I should like to go to the dance. Do you think Mr. Bingley's handsome? <laughs> with his income, Lydia, you'd think him handsome if he had half a zombie face. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is Pride and Prejudice. They just added zombies. They must find husbands, Mr. Bennett. Their immediate survival is my present concern. Truth. So this Darcy actually has a reason to be kind of absent-minded. Yeah, like, I think the I... other one was just like, I'm checked out, y'all. <laughs> I don't give a f <laughs> Oh, you mean uh, Mr. Bennett? <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Bennett, yes. 
Epic. Love it. This feels so strange. It feels like a... It's a cross between... Uh, like a Tumblr... Not a Wattpad or whatever that site is where you would... Fiction. Yeah. But good? It might have started as fan fiction. It's giving like Van Helsing and other things. There's the handsome new master of Netherfield. It was my understanding oh. that Captain Bingley was yes, He's very handsome. He is. I shall never relinquish my sword for a ring. For the right man, you would. The right man wouldn't ask me to. She also a reader, or have they replaced her reading interest? I think with, with fighting, yeah. Smile. This is the same movie. <laughs> I, know. I feel bamboozled. That's I feel so like funny. They, he tricked us. They didn't, though. I don't know why I didn't expect this to be like almost the same movie. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I expected. Charles Bingley, may I introduce my friend, Mr. Darcy of Downshire? Downshire? More like Downershire. <laughs> Stupid. Good. That's a good one. Very much. I've heard the library at Netherfield is one of the finest. Okay, so she still likes reading. Good for you, Mr. Bingley. You chose the loveliest of my daughters. Oh, oh mom. thanks, Mom. Oh, what? <laughs> I considered dancing to be the first refinement of polished society. No, every savage can dance. I imagine even zombies could do it to some degree. Of <laughs> oh, you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I do love the visual aesthetic of this movie. Mm, I like his visual aesthetic. You're dancing with the only handsome girl here. Yeah, but one of her sisters is also very pretty. But not handsome enough to tempt me. Nor any other man here, apparently. Oh! <laughs> oh, Darcy. oh, rude. Did he say that in the first one? I don't remember it line for line, despite the fact that I have watched that in the Pride and Prejudice like four, four times. times now. I know he said not handsome enough to tempt me, but I didn't think he didn't said point anybody out the fact else. That no one else is dancing yeah. with her? That's rough. It's William Darcy. I quite detest the man. Oh, indeed. Uh-oh, uh-oh. How'd she get in here? Oh, so they keep a little bit of consciousness for a while. You're undead. Disgusting. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what is she gonna tell you? Also! Narrowly saved her life. Oh my god. She posed no threat. Chill, guys. Uh-oh, we're under attack. Oh shit, there's an outbreak. I think maybe he doesn't realize that she's not defenseless. Oh. There's a possibility, I'll edit this out if it doesn't end up being a case. It's a possibility that they're evolving. Oh, maybe. Oh, hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> Does zombie blood not infect you though? Not if it doesn't get into your orifices. I feel like you should be covering your mouths and your eyes. You should be wearing masks. That's a cool shot. That's awesome. Oh, look at that. Oh, she's something, isn't she? You know, this added a much needed action element that I didn't know I was missing in the first one. Hey, 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 we much like. Wel much welcome, not much needed. The score is really good, too. Never have I encountered a man so consumed by his own pride. You had much better go on horseback, for it seems likely to rain. And then you must stay all night. Go quickly now. The zombies spring easily from the wet earth. Yeah, I feel like this is negligence now in this universe. Don't <laughs> send, send your off. daughter to but be sick at a house. They're all fighters. They are all very well trained, so you kind of can send them off. Oh, oh no. no, my God. F you, horse. <laughs> he said, get off, we're leaving. <laughs> Ow, what just happened? Gun misfired. Is, oh, shit. <laughs> that is a sharp knife. That went right through his... Okay. Oh! <laughs> Another one. With a baby? It's gonna be. I think it can. That is an unholy image. Shit. That is profane, and that is making me want to convert to Catholicism. <laughs> So that you can, <laughs> so you can go to confessional to get that image out get of your head. Get that image out of my eyes. She must be closely monitored in her room locked. At I was gonna say, <laughs> it's gonna be a whole different environment now, mm -hmm. because being sick could mean so much more. Okay. She got caught in the downpour. Does he just like 
recaps for the same flies? That's a good question, Benji. That's is he good. like opening the bottle sometimes and feeding them? Can they breathe through that cork maybe? Does he like let them out in his room? Does he breathe them in his room? Oh, who's that? Is that her? Uh huh. The wound, doctor. I must get backfired. Oh, oh that's, that's incriminating. I see no indication of a bite. That was never in question. <laughs> that's hot. I like when a girl catches my flies <laughs> and then undoes my fly. Do we have flies? I mean, do we have zippers? We probably have like buttons or... I believe that these belong to you. Oh, and she didn't even kill him. She killed him. <laughs> 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 I don't speak Japanese. No, you didn't train in Japan. I trained in China, bitch. Mr. Darcy, is your sister much grown since the spring? I don't believe I've ever met a girl who was so extremely accomplished. Accomplished is far too liberally applied to young ladies today, but a woman must have a thorough knowledge of music, singing, drawing, dancing. And fighting. She must be well trained in the fighting styles of the Kyoto mm -hmm. masters and the weapons and tactics of modern Europe. Or the term would only be half deserved. Wow. A woman is either highly trained or highly refined. One cannot afford the luxury of both in such times. But seriously, like realistically, in such times, they would not care about any of the societal stuff. Uh, L'art de la guerre. Yep. The art of war. <laughs> At least most of them wouldn't. Have you not read it in its original Wu dialect? Alas. Moom shenjing madoku shi su bing fa. I should get back to Jane. I feel like he likes her more than Darcy does. No, he's just being pleasant. He likes Jane. I know, man. He's really enjoying Elizabeth. She is one of those young ladies who seeks to recommend themselves to men by undervaluing their own sex. Uh, she said she's a pick-me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the translation. Mm -hmm. Translator Benji over here. <laughs> Keeping Always. me informed. It's funny. This feels both tacked on and natural. It's integrated pretty well so far. It is. Because I still can't tell what's added and what's not. Well, I'm going to give you a little hint, Benji, and this is just, just a little hint. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anytime there's a zombie on screen, that might have been added. I don't know, though. I guess I we know. never do know. There's some pretty undead motherfuckers in the other one. <laughs> Mrs. Bennet, Miss Bennet, Miss Bennet, and Miss Bennet. See, that's funny because that's what I said. But actually, as I recently learned, only the oldest one in the house... <laughs> is Miss Bennett and the rest are Miss First Name. Thanks, y'all. Carelessness when dealing with a zombie infection can lead to your abrupt demise. Arrogance could lead to yours. Your defect is to willfully misunderstand people. And yours is to be unjustly prejudiced against them. He is both pride and prejudice. Mr. Bingley, I what? know just the thing to break this tension and lift the spirits of the county. A ball out of the question. Miss Bennett works no matter what universe she's in. She doesn't care. She's trying to get her daughters hooked up. Oh, Mrs. Beecham's orphanage, Phil. <laughs> oh, no. Yikes. The orphans. Wait, so like for these zombies, we should be working on a cure since they seem to still kind of be... I don't think Here. there's a cure for being dead. The, but like there's a, I mean, if the thing can keep you alive. I know of no one who is coming. Or like at least animated, then you can figure out something to restart their heart and maybe Person of whom I speak cure the illness and is a certain gentleman. bring them back, you know? What is that odious man Who's doing? This? <laughs> oh, that's the doctor. He's that's what's his face? Matt Smith. His future property. Is this their cousin though? Yeah. I assume you have all heard of Lady Catherine de Bar. Lady Catherine! <laughs> She's the most deadly oh source my woman God. in Great Britain. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one from House of Dragons, though, right? Uh, yes. Pretty sure, yeah. I am enchanted by your daughter, Jane. Oh. And request to speak to her alone. I'm afraid Jane is already spoken for. Oh, fuddle. But Liz is... I don't. as fair as Jane. That's so annoying. Is there absolutely no negotiating over Jane? The early bird catches the worm, <laughs> Mr. Collins. Oh, indeed. Oh, no, yeah, why, yes. She is almost as fair as the other one. Oh, uh, the other is, one? This is a brutal scene. Ew. <laughs> Don't touch me. I'm is assuming he is not trained to fight. Oh, it appears there is. Clearly. Oh, it appears there is. Penny McGregor's carriage. It could be a zombie trap. Someone's trapped inside. 
Boom, boom, boom. That was a horrible accident. Wow. But I survived. These uh, zombies are. Survived, JD. Not in the traditional sense of the word. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Aren't those just muskets? I don't think muskets have the ability to. <laughs> I guess if you're a zombie, you're barely held together in the first place. I must confess. My lovely nurse. I was unaware that zombies killing me now. Acuity to set such a trap. Traps. Before we know it, they'll be running for parliament. Are they evolving? He did say. Well, either that, or they never were not evolved. Or they just didn't realize. Yeah. What if zombies is a metaphor for the disenfranchised, Benji? Uh, for uh, minority groups. <laughs> no, don't equate zombies. Don't, to... don't we feel like the uh, minority experience is just you're trying to eat your friends and, and they, they judge just... you for it? <laughs> Watch that be the point of this. I would hate. I would be mortified because minorities are not monsters. <laughs> just to be clear. <laughs> Miss Lydia Bennett and Miss Catherine Bennett, Lieutenant Wickham. He looks like he pissed his pants. Yeah. Thank you for accompanying us and enduring my younger sisters. Are you quite recovered? She is. And then I shall begin the preparations immediately for the most glorious Bull Hertfordshire has ever seen. He looks like he has played a vampire. Lieutenant Wickham, mm -hmm. I bet their backstory is going to be more gnarly in this one. He fed my... Well, no, if it was more gnarly, then he probably would have killed him right there. Mm. But something he, involving zombies. He fed our parents to zombies so that he could marry my sister and get her inheritance. No, earlier. because then I would have just killed him right then and there. Maybe. Somewhere in between. <laughs> my dad died because of him with a zombie to the gambling He thing was he careless did. and he left the door open. Something careless. What is amiss between you and Mr. Darcy? Are you much acquainted with him? He's been here for less than a month and is already the least popular man in the county. <laughs> Darcy and I grew up together. I know, right? It's so embarrassing. I don't even... Whatever. His father treated me like a second son. He bequeathed me with the best living and his gift. I had my heart set on joining the church. But when he was slain in the second battle of Kent, Darcy ignored his wishes and gave my living to another man. <laughs> this is the same movie. <laughs> but with zombies. What can have induced him to behave so cruelly? Pride. Prejudice? They're throwing it in there. He thought me too low to be worth his consideration. Do you see it was pride, but also it was prejudice. <laughs> and sometimes people would say there were zombies. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Wickham, you came. <laughs> I have found you, Miss Bennett. Oh. Sorry, and you are? <laughs> He's the worst. Wicked. Lady Catherine herself has praised me on my lightness of foot. <laughs> Laughing will get you everywhere, Miss Bennett. You didn't even like me. <laughs> and I know it in this version. <laughs> yeah, you told me in front of my face. In the parish. That's fine. People change, right? Don't use my <laughs> words again. That's not what... <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Moment of the dance. Mr. Collins, please keep your voice down. I mean, he's enthusiastic. You can't say he's not enthusiastic. <laughs> 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 Miss Bennett, it is my intention to remain very close to you throughout all the evening. Ooh, oh! May I have the next dance? <laughs> yes! How smooth. Mr. Darcy, this is Mr. Collins. Parson Collins. Parson Collins. Your... Cousin. Cousin. Yeah. Mr. Darcy, I have made the most incredible discovery. You are the nephew of Lady Catherine de Burr. Is that extraordinary? I know. <laughs> well, yeah, I know you know. Excuse, 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 excuse me. I am <laughs> Collins. That's great. I know. Like what? What? I predict a wedding in under three months. Oh, uh, mom! Charming. Stop declaring that. Jane marrying Bingley is bound to throw her younger sisters in the way of others, rich men, and then. What? 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 Mother, it's time to go. Ah! Don't be so impertinent. Ow, mom. <laughs> also, even as a joke, don't bite me in this universe. Don't, right? Uh, uh. Uh. That's right. Every once in a while you forget this is a zombie Hi. movie. Don't go in there. This is me. Oh, I don't fight. <laughs> oh. I like that they both tend to watch each other, like, handle groups of zombies rather than helping. Right? Was he bit? Oh. No, he fell and hit his head. Oh, he's about to kill his own... His friend. He's dedicated. The Bingley's just closed down the house and left. Well, yeah. I don't understand. You don't? Why would he not know when he is to return? They were attacked According by zombies. To Caroline Bingley, 
Mr. Darcy is impatient to see his sister. My brother admires her greatly already. Obviously, she knows her brother is in love with you and wants him to marry Miss Darcy. That's true. Also, this world has zombies and they got attacked twice, so. Miss Elizabeth, as soon as I entered the house, I singled you out as the companion for my future life. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I have the receipts. <laughs> Literally, I was there. You did not. But now, Miss Elizabeth, allow me to assure you of the violence of my affections. Sir, my affections. I'm honored by your proposal. I would like to emphasize the violence of my no. disagreement. Do not worry, Mr. Collins, she shall be brought to reason. Oh, good. No. Oh, no. <laughs> the violence of my disinterest. Jesus. Oh, my God. Your mother will never speak to you again if you do not marry Mr. Collins. And I will never speak to you again if you do. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a daddy's girl. <laughs> Lizzie, don't go into the woods alone. Into the woods and other songs, all that stuff. I don't know words. Da 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 da. No. Into the woods. <laughs> Pride and prejudice. <laughs> and and zombies. And into the woods. And into the woods. <laughs> Elizabeth. What's all this? What's all this then? Who are they? He looks like Gaston. You vanished at the ball. I felt it would have been selfish of me to seek an encounter with Darcy. I am very sorry I lost the pleasure of dancing with you, though. Yeah, you took my cup with you. Did you happen to mm. see four gentlemen pass this way? But they were undoubtedly ball bearers. This is a cemetery. I want to take you somewhere very special to me. It's a secret place I've never shown another living soul. Is that blood running? No, that's their path. No, I... Okay, I was like, yeah, but that's a very classic trope. Ink. Oh, yeah. Or ink. No, I think that's blood. I think you're right. And he came unto the sea. And when they cried unto the Lord, he put darkness between you and brought this upon. Is this a zombie church? He that believeth in me. Are they going to turn around and be zombies? Though he were dead, yet shall he live. And Jesus cried out with a loud voice. No, don't. It's all right. It's all right. Oh! So where's this going? Oh, I am intrigued, Benji. <laughs> so do the zombies just want to live their life? No, they're pigs' brains. You have nothing to fear. If they never consume human brains, they will never fully transform into zombies. St. Lazarus is the key to I was wondering. the struggle between the living and the undead. We must force some kind of understanding with the most advanced among them. Surely the crown will support such a venture. No, they won't. The war has almost bankrupted Great Britain, and I don't know where to tell her. I said you should be finding a cure. There's, they're knowledgeable. They're not just mindless monsters who are undead. I didn't know you were coming to visit. Like I said, this is kind of operating a little I bit more like, not like vampires, but not not like vampires. Mm. I'm engaged to be married to Mr. Collins. Nice. Good for you. Oh. oh. An extraordinary sight, is it not? <laughs> oh. <laughs> this movie's goofy. I love it. <laughs> the four horsemen of the zombie apocalypse. This is That's fun. That's saw in the graveyard. Where's this going, Benji? I have no clue. And Miss we both know this and don't. I, mean, I, you know, it's not going where I thought. Mr. Darcy. What's so, up? Miss Bennett. You know my nephew. Do you think that their the final the argument is going to be like an actual Ms. fight? Ms. Bennett to attend that he might confer with your ladyship about a strategy with which ah. to combat the scourge. Some of the stricken have not succumbed to the urge to feed upon the living, and in so doing have maintained their human ways. And they've managed to resist this most primal of zombie urges. How? Their ironclad constitution? Ugh. <laughs> uh. uh. Still thirsty. <laughs> the pig brains quench their appetite for human brains. The undead will always multiply faster than the living and procreate. If they were to organize, we cannot defeat them. Oof. The only hope is to find a way to coexist with them before they fight their antichrist. So, so what do you do when there's no more people? Just everybody lives off pig brains? The late Mr. Darcy would have supported such a venture. I have tolerated your presence here long enough, Wickham. Gods! In a lot of ways, this world was very thought out. Mm-hmm. But also... Is he a good guy, or is he still going to flip and be bad? I was wondering that. It was Darcy that persuaded Bingley to stay clear of your sister and leave Netherfield. <laughs> because he believes your sister to be inferior to his friend. The day of reckoning is upon us. I hear flies. Do you? Yeah, there was flies in the... Mm. They were buzzing. Yeah, he's probably a zombie. He's just been taking the the pig's uh, brains early, so he's turning a lot slower. Miss Bennett, although I know many consider you to be decidedly inferior... As a matter of your birth, my feelings will not be repressed. In vain have I struggled. 
I've come to feel for you a most ardent admiration and regard, which you is did? overcome. I didn't know that. <laughs> also, you can't say this if it's not raining. So now I ask you most fervently, end my turmoil and consent to be my wife. Less romantic. Yeah, less romantic because it feels right out of left field. Mm hmm. Like it seems like he was just starting to like her. You intentionally ruined the happiness of my most beloved sister. I did everything in my power to separate my friend from your sister. Whoa. Oh! Ah! <laughs> I perceived his attachment to her to be far deeper than hers to him. I believed her to be indifferent. They, didn't you kind of call this? Did I say they were gonna, I said she was gonna fight the other Cersei. Did you suggest to Mr. Bingley that his fortune had some bearing on the matter? It was suggested. <laughs> Are they still in Lady Catherine's place? By Miss Bingley. I think this is her guest house or something. Oh, uh, don't check me out, you weirdo. Mr. Wickham's misfortunes have been very great, great, great indeed. indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. Unfortunately, this is the most they've really interacted. Yeah. So his proposal kind of came out of left field. And I thank you for explaining it so fully. We're going to do the Zoro scene. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, guys, unchaperoned. <laughs> You're unchaperoned. Unchaperoned. You were the last man in the world whom I could ever be prevailed on to marry. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh. Whoa. Dead. Killed him. Did she actually? No. Please forgive me and accept my best wishes for your health and happiness. Mr. Bingley's feelings for Miss Bennet were beyond any I had ever witnessed in him. After overhearing your mother coldly state her intention of having all her daughters marry favorably, I persuaded Bingley of the unfitness. Yeah, I heard this mom was like, la la la, we need money. His money is gonna make us okay. No sooner had my father made clear his intention to leave Mr. Wickham a handsome son than Mr. Darcy was mysteriously infected by the plague. It was left to me. It's essentially what we said. Outside of the, it being obvious, it was just a mysterious... Decreed, decreed it. Decreed it. <laughs> Still, I gave Wickham the inheritance my father left. Damn. Wow. Wickham squandered it. Whereupon he demanded more and more money. Until wow. I eventually refused. Thereafter, he severed all ties with me. What a freaking Last hoe. Summer, he began a relationship with my 15-year-old sister. What a freaking hoe. Her to elope. What a freaking hoe. Mr. Wickham's prime target was her inheritance of 30,000 pounds. What a freaking hoe. For me was a strong additional inducement. Oh, Fortunately, I was able to persuade my sister of Mr. Wickham's ulterior motives. Bro, in this world? Just quietly. <laughs> I'd be like, he was bitten. Or go get him bitten so that you can kill him. I ride to you from the siege of London. Oh my god. They struck the palace and both houses. Cut off our head before we could cut off theirs. Ooh, and for zombies, that's pretty clever. If we should fail to contain them and they're breaching a bridge, <laughs> it'll be as if a great dam has broken and they'll reach Hertfordshire swiftly. And now, a quick break from your Bright and Prejudice book to remind you that zombies are indeed a part of this plot. Miss Bennet, I implore you to be ready. Ah, oh, shit. It's going down. Wickham's run off with Lydia. Well, damn. This is the least of our problems. There's yeah, zombies there's in this world. so much shit going on. It's Lazarus. Oh, they're at the zombie church? There she is. Is he going to make her into his zombie bride? Or his ex-wife? The falsehood of the most scandalous nature has okay. reached me that you intend to be united. Oh, this is happening already. Mr. Darcy, are you engaged to him or not? I'm not. Or not. And will you promise me never to enter into such an engagement? I will make no such promise. <laughs> you don't face hey. me in combat. You were right, Benji. Not. Come on. Decree it. Decree that. My proxy will have to suffice. Sort of. <laughs> Whoa. Do you concede? Never. I do not. My courage always rises at every attempt to intimidate me. Yeah. And she's kind. She's kind and she has courage. The two C's of success. <laughs> <laughs> what a callback, Benji! <laughs> the three C's! The three C's. And courage, call callback, and kindness. <laughs> always. Be courageous and, and kind. kind. The two C's. That of success. No, they're not. One's a K. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Why am I so jumpy today? I don't know, man. You weren't ready for a zombie fighting movie. I wasn't ready for it to be good. Uh-oh. House is coming down. Oh. 
This is what Jane Austen was thinking when she wrote this book. <laughs> she was like, one day, this is going to have zombies. I do not know but which that day, my amour is It's not today. Your skill as a warrior or your resolve as a woman. I will take the rest of your family back with me to Rosings. So there's no safer place in England. Are we friends now? Collect your people. Did we just become best Did friends? Did we? I don't know if I trust you yet. <laughs> Mr. Bingley! You're Bingley. too pretty to be on the battlefield. <laughs> You're supposed to make it to the end. <laughs> oh, sweet morning child. You're too pretty to be here. Let the women... Let... Let the women do the work. Sweet child. This is a summer. woman's world. <laughs> okay. You're just a pair of beautiful lips in it. I, I'm speaking as I'm speaking as Jane. I'm not speaking as myself. I'm I like, didn't say anything. He does have nice lips. I didn't say they were nice. I said they're big. Uh -huh. He said they were pretty. Pretty big. <laughs> Wickham has run off with Lydia. He's taken her to where his zombie aristocrats congregate. I saw it raised to the ground five days ago. Your sister couldn't possibly have survived. Oh my god. Oh, I think she did. I'm profoundly sorry for your loss. Colonel Darcy. I've just heard news your sister is alive. <laughs> Scratch that, she's fine. Ah, uh, the four horsemen. Wait, it doesn't look raised to the ground. This looks fine. Lies. Which direction are you looking in, Mr. Bingley? Said Lazarus. Darcy lies. To spare you. He'd risk anything for you, Miss Bennett. He's gonna go get the sister so she doesn't risk herself. He lied. Okay. Who would steal the brains of dead soldiers? Is that him? He stole the brains so he can distract him. <laughs> what? Wickham said you'd come. Wickham said you'd come. It's a trap. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. I was like, what is Wickham? Why is he all focused What's on women in this plan? world? There's nothing to do. That makes a little bit more sense. I knew by taking young Lydia, you'd have to protect the Bennett's honor. You see, money is of no use to me now. I'm a femme. Zombie. Is that your father's watch? Give it to me. Uh, God, you're a hoe. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> what have you done, I fed them. Oh, that's kind of shitty, though. That's literally, I was just like, wait. So we had all of these zombies that were literally trying so hard to be like, hey, we don't want to hurt people. So we're not eating brains. And he was like, that's Here's some lame, brains. Mr. Darcy. <laughs> that's lame, Mr. Darcy. That's lame, <laughs> Mr. Darcy. <laughs> Came right back around, didn't God it? God damn it, Mr. Darcy. That's literally like if you went into an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting and spiked the punch. <laughs> like, fuck you. So what was his plan? He just wanted to kill Mr. Darcy? Yes. I'm the king! Maybe he just wanted to be the king of the new order. It seemed like he was going to use them to kill people. I don't know. Yeah, I think he just wanted to be the top of the new food chain. So maybe it's not lame, Mr. Darcy? I don't know. No, it was lame, Mr. Darcy. They were trying to not spread war and stuff. Or maybe that's just what Mr. Wickham said. Maybe that is just what Wickham said. But we also did see them not attack Cinderella. So Now I know. <laughs> They went from church-going citizens <laughs> to a zombie horde. That's, <laughs> That's lame. That's lame, Mr. Darcy. <laughs> what an asshole. Ooh. Is he a zombie, though? I thought he might be, but... Okay. Yeah, you all right. fool. I've been one of them all along. If I had the living your father intended me, I never would have been in the army. Wait, but you turned down the living, right? The four horsemen have risen from hell. The zombie apocalypse is here. I am the one the undead have been waiting for. The one to lead them. Make fucking haste. Yeah. Is he dead? I, there was a lot that I missed in there. We weren't even talking. It just was hard to hear. Yeah. It sounds like... It sounds like we were basically right. He wanted sounds to... like there was some moral gray area. Maybe it wasn't lame, Mr. Darcy. 
Just a little morally gray. I know? think if we had knocked him out and then come to those people ourselves, maybe those uh, knowledgeable, I still feel bad. Zombies. They were all like, they were chilling in their own little space. Ah, they would have <laughs> fucked up eventually. I did. Done for. Wake up. <laughs> What if he became a zombie? Ah, that's lame, Mr. Darcy. <laughs> it's been a while. Is he actually dead? The very first moment He's I found you, my heart was irrevocably gone. Unchaperoned? I think we're far past that. Unchaperoned? <laughs> the horse didn't make it. She ah, ran faster. What's up? Is it dead? It's not even there. It probably fell and killed it. it died. They were like, we made it, and the horse was like, you wouldn't have made it without me, but f me, right? Might I take this opportunity to compliment you on your pantaloons? <laughs> the ladyship. Mama's going mom wherever she goes. She's like, I'm going to ingratiate myself to the richest person in the room. <laughs> Always. Darcy. Hey, look, Anyone he's okay. Now? It's holding for the time being. I think we were supposed to be worried. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> ah, he's here. What you said to me on Hingham Bridge gave me hope. She looks what? mad. She said, that your feelings towards me may have changed. Seems like they did. However, one word from me now will silence me on the subject forever. That must be a note in the book where Elizabeth savors the fact that she could silence him forever. Because <laughs> yeah, they're all like, really? Huh. <laughs> That's a lot of power. Will you do me the great honor taking me for your husband? Oh. Yes. Unchaperoned! They're engaged now. That's not how it works. He needs to ask her father. True. In a patriarchal society, what the man says goes. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here oh, today in a the wedding. Court. Look at that. We're joined together this man and this woman. Yeah. This man and this woman. A double wedding. They said, hey, Benji, we got <laughs> you. Don't worry. There's going to be two weddings. May now kiss the bride. And I'm gonna kiss your sister too, because he said kiss the bride. And we're all just gonna kiss each other. And the grooms kiss the grooms, and it'll all be fun. Look at him being a wholesome character in the end. <laughs> Which he was never not like wholesome. This is annoying. <laughs> Wee! Scroll to the end and make sure. Yeah, we yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> Look at all that. Look at that. They were really gonna try to screw us over oh, again. Shit. Oh, gosh. Are the zombies coming? Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. And two Pride, two, two prejudice, prejudice, two Zombies. That's a lot of zombies. Not Mr. Wickham! Ah! God damn it! And the four horsemen, they're creepy. I literally said, I said, is he dead? And now he organized against you and you're screwed. Well, that was nice. Now that, I'm stressed. <laughs> that was fun. Sometimes opposites can attract and work. There were things that were a little clunky about it, but it still was enjoyable. Ultimately, I feel like you definitely sit down and you want to enjoy the atmosphere, the lore building, and the violence. And I think that's a perfect movie to like throw on for Halloween. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The love story wasn't as lovey, but it also is a different genre, so it's fine. It's a different. Uh, it's a different world. They don't have time for that kind of character. sentiment, you what know? Is this? What are you doing? They can't do it. I don't like whatever that is. Ew. You know? Oh. <laughs> That, that was, was fun. That was fun. <laughs> All right, you want to watch the full reaction? Where do they go, Benji? Check out Patreon. That is going to be in our $5 tier, and you can see that. You can check out our $10 tier for exclusives. Like, follow, subscribe, share this with your other... Uh, Pride and Prejudice friends, see I what they think. Thought you were about to say share this with your other brethren. I was like, share this with your brethren. <laughs> and also stay tuned because we do have the second half of Bridgerton coming up, and ooh, we ooh. are wet, prepped, and salivating over over them like brains, salivating like like waiting for I like zombies waiting on brains. Yes, that's what I meant to say. Yes. Until next time, I'm Rizzo. I'm Benji. Sweet dreams, Bob Stars. Keep watching, watching. <laughs> we just finished up Bridgerton. We also watched Pride and Prejudice. And one of the most unanimous requests we saw on those videos was indeed this movie. Specifically, 
when Benji mentioned that, what was it? I want them to be vampires. And I <laughs> laughed because I don't like vampires at all. However, when I saw that comment, I went, not the same thing. <laughs> vampires are eternal and sexy and zombies are gross. Undead and icky. But, you know, I appreciate the sentiment because you guys said you want a supernatural version of this. We got you. And we are here today to watch it. That's hot. Hmm. Huh? So it's trying not to pigeonhole you, but you pigeonholed yourself. They had into an a hot, oog oogly eyed straight man. It's cute when I do it. <laughs> Oh, you don't want me to ogle Lily? You don't want me to ogle Lips McGee over here? He's got big lips.